Hey, y'all got any poop? Yeah, but it's in my butt and it's still in the development phase and I'm not ready to go public with it. You call it poop? Yeah, I call it poop. What do you call it? I call it doo-doo. I wrote a song about it. It goes like this. I got a doo-doo in my butt. Doo-doo in my butt. Doo-doo in my butt. Butt, butt, butt. Wow. That there's a gosh darn good song. I feel like I'm your target demographic, what with me liking doo-doo and all. But I bet you you put that on the internet, people go crazy for it. Really? You think so? Sure thing. It's got that real relatable quality to it. I mean, we all got doo-doo in our butts. You know, they even wrote a book about that. It's called Everybody Doo-Doos. It's in the Library of Congress and everything. And you know what? Your doo-doo song is like that song Friday. Every Friday, people be singing that song about Friday. Friday, Friday. Everybody likes Friday. <laughs> Heck yeah. Friday, Friday. Gotta get the D on Friday. I love that song. Of course you do. Everybody likes Friday. And everybody likes singing about Friday. I bet you can make a million dollars singing about doo-doo. Just like that Friday song. A million dollars? Sure thing. And you know what else? You'd be giving people hope and inspiring them. Really? Oh, yes, indeedy. Think about all them people out there struggling to, to pay their bills and their life troubles, and then they hear your song on the radio when they start humming along to it at their work job that they hate, and your song like gives them hope, and then they start dreaming about being you or hugging and kissing you and doing romance stuff with you. Yo, growth. I don't want people doing romance stuff with me. Well, that's how it works. You gotta have that romance appeal. You're not just selling the doo-doo. You sell in the butt that's making the doo-doo. I don't want to sell my butt. Well, you're the one putting it out there. I mean, it's in the song. You talking about butts, people going to start thinking about them. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're just not ready to be a star. It's a shame, too, because it's a real good song. And you know, the world could really use some healing right now, what with these trying times we're in. But if you want to be selfish and not share your craft with the world and make a million dollars, well, that's on you. And I hope you can just live with yourself. You know, I was even going to offer to help you with your money earnings and your career and making life decisions for you. Really? You were going to help me with my career? We were going to make a million dollars together? Sure was. But I guess our doo-doo dreams will never be a reality. Well, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I guess I could do it. I just, but I just don't want to. Well, all right then. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the paperwork. And you don't worry about a thing. You just keep singing that sweet, sweet doo-doo song. Why don't you go ahead and sing it again for me? Uh, okay. I've got a, I've got a doo-doo in my butt. Doo-doo in my butt. Doo-doo in my butt. Doo-doo butt. Girl, you better start singing it like you mean it before I put my foot in your ass. What's doo-doo got to do with it? Got to do with it? Who needs a butt when a butt can be broken? It's all broken because it has a crack in it. <laughs>